guy coming to the stage, a very good friend of mine and a really funny guy. Please make it loud for Mr. Jesse Rivera. And you guys are already applauding. That's super nice. Let's give it up one more time for Jason B. Woo! And we're not done talking about drugs just yet. <laughs> so uh, recently, uh, um, I'm 47. I know my boyish good Woo! looks don't throw that away. But so recently, I dated a girl much younger than me, you know? And uh, I thought it was going really good for a while, right? But then eventually, like, she got really comfortable and she said, uh, Babe, uh, you think your doctor will let you take Viagra? And I looked at her and I was like, babe, my doctor don't want me taking the stairs. He sure as hell doesn't want me taking Viagra. She was like, well, please, can you ask him? Cause I'm like, I know why, okay? You don't need to tell me why you want me to take Viagra. So I went to my doctor and I was like, hey doctor, you think it'd be okay if I took Viagra? And he quickly stopped being a doctor and he turned more into like, a friend who was about to give me a really powerful edible. It's like, okay, look, I'm gonna give you this. But don't take the whole thing, take like half of it. Wait about a half an hour, and then, you don't need to take half, take like a quarter of it. So I started microdosing Viagra. Sometimes I'll shave off a little bit and snort it. Oh, one time it drained just as we, never mind. So that didn't work out. So I had to break up with the young girl. I'm off to Viagra, no longer microdosing Viagra. But unfortunately, I'm back on the dating sites. Right, the dating sites. So there I am swiping, 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 stop, look. Oh, this girl caught my attention. Got a great bio, cause it's short. So I'm gonna finish reading it. And I start looking at the pictures and I'm like, oh, these pictures are great, cause like, they're not Snapchat filters, right? I don't need to try to figure out what she looks like without the dog ears. <laughs> the pictures are great, but then, one of the pictures wasn't a full on picture, it was a screenshot. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can see like, that it was like a Facebook picture. And I was like, ah, oh, it's kind of lazy. But wait, there was a lot of information in that screenshot. You know, like the first thing I noticed and let me preface this with like, I'm looking for someone to like start a family with. Like, I wanna raise a family and have some children, right? The first red flag on there, she had 8% battery life. 8% battery life, what kind of monster has 8% battery life, right? Like, I want a woman that's gonna help me raise children. She can't keep her phone alive. Like, our kids aren't gonna make it past five years old. You know, another thing I noticed on there, like she had like 35 Facebook notifications. She's not gonna text back to me quickly, you know? Another thing I noticed was like, was, who's her carrier, you know? Cause like, like I said, I'm looking for someone solid. Like I was hoping to see like a Verizon or like AT&T, maybe T-Mobile. I looked and it was Boost. <laughs> You can't raise a family with a girl who's month to month. You can't raise a family with a girl who's pay as you go. I need a 24 month commitment at least. So she got swiped the other way, you know? And uh, the thing too about the dating sites, like that's so many questions, you know? So many questions like, what's your height? What's your weight? What's your preference? What do you like to do? What's your race? And like, I know that it seems like a no brainer, right? Like you guys look at me and you're like, race, Middle Eastern, right? What? No, 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 I'm Mexican, right? But really it's like, what culture do I more identify with? Cause like, I don't do a whole lot of Mexican things anymore. I used to do Mexican things, but not anymore. I can't even remember the last time I went to a swap meet. <laughs> you know, like, if we're talking like race, like, I do a lot more white things than I do Mexican things, you know? So like, I was like, maybe it's like, I identify more with like the white race. 
and not even like a white male, more like a white female. I love brunches. I love mimosas. I bought a yoga mat just two days ago. And seriously, like, if I didn't have all this product in my hair and I took this bandana off, you would see that my hair would fall down into a cute little bob. Sometimes I have bangs, sometimes I don't. It just really depends on how I'm feeling about my ex. Sometimes they gotta go, because fuck him, her, whatever, them. I was confused two years ago. <sighs> so, the dating stuff. A lot of stuff there. Um, trying to lose weight, too, because, um, you know, my mom, she worries about me. She's like, mijo, I want you to lose weight, because, like, I saw on the TV that, like, if you're, like, big, like, people are going to bully you, and then, like, you're going to go to school and shoot everybody. And I was like, whoa, whoa, mom, take it easy, take it easy. First of all, I don't even go to school. <laughs> Secondly, adults don't bully me. Adults are really nice, you know? They're really super nice, but there is a demographic that does tend to fuck with me, right? There is a group of people that I do fear, right? And this group of people makes me not like going to parties. And I don't know what you guys know about Mexicans, but Mexicans be having parties every weekend. You know, like every weekend is like a baptism or like a quinceanera or like somebody just got out of jail, you know? Or like we're having a fundraiser for something, like we're trying to buy a new Jesus statue for the church. Or like we need to buy new soccer uniforms for the kids or we need to help our uncle pay for his coyote, you know? There's just all these costs that are associated to these being a Mexican, right? And so I gotta go to a party every weekend. And then every, week, every weekend at these parties, I'll see that group of people that I know is gonna fuck with me. Little kids. Because <laughs> little kids are so honest, right? And I, I get it, like a little kid looks at me, I'm probably the biggest guy he's seen up to that point in his life, right? And I can always tell when a little kid has spotted me too. Because like, they'll be playing, you know, and then all of a sudden he'll be like, <laughs> And he'll get the attention of all his little kid buddies and be like. <laughs> and before I know it, like five little Mexican kids are walking over to interrogate me. They walk up and they look at me. And one of them will speak for all of them. I call him the influencer. <laughs> the influencer will speak for all of them. He'll look up at me. He'll like, How'd you get so big? <laughs> I look right down at him and I go, I eat little kids. And I'm starving and I look like I'm gonna chase after them, right? But I'm not gonna catch any of them, right? But this is a Mexican party. So there's always like that one chubby little pre-diabetic one. And he's already had so much sugar, his fight or flight is all screwy. So he's like running like they do in the cartoons. He doesn't know where to go. Him I can catch. Him I'll catch. And I'll use it like as an opportunity to scare him straight, you know, or growl him up. Look at me, Pablito. I'm you in the future. Do you want this life? And he's ugly crying at this point, looking for his mom. Because all Mexicans are mother's boys. He's like, no. And he's like, but I like sugar. And I'm like, oh, you like sugar, huh? And I'll set him down on the ground and I'll lift up my shirt and I'll make him watch me shoot my insulin. He's like, oh. And I'll throw my insulin needle on the ground and I'll be like, I'll pick that up and go throw it in the trash. Make sure it lands in the trash too. They're gonna think you're well, Bobby's doing smack again. <laughs> but Bobby's not doing smack anymore. I don't get invited to parties anymore. Uh, my name is Jesse Rivera, you guys. Thanks for the time. I gotta go.